Now, days after the violence, the situation remains tense in the state of Meghalaya. Miscreants torched traffic booths and attacked three police vehicles, including a city bus in Meghalaya's Shillong on Thursday evening. The incident took place during a candlelight vigil to protest against the violence that occurred on the Assam Meghalaya border on November 22nd that killed six people. The internet suspension in the region continues. Meghalaya's Chief Minister Konrad Sangma has clearly stated that this incident took place due to the long standing border dispute. Conrad also met Union Home Minister Amit Shah in the national capital and requested for a CBI probe into the matter. He will also be meeting the Human Rights Commission over the issue today. I will start with the Assam Chief Minister's statement where he's saying that there's nothing to do with this incident of uh, border issues between both the states. But you said that the root cause of this incident is the border dispute. So how would you say? No, the point is that this specific incident that happened happened based on the circumstances that were there on that evening and whatever problems happened which of course we are not uh, uh, fully uh, details are not there because the inquiry will come out and then we'll see what happened so uh, it didn't happen because of the border dispute as such but my point is that the circumstances that led to that particular day and the tension that has been prevailing in that area because of which any incident that takes place, you know, becomes very serious is because of the border tension that has been there for the past 50 years. Hence, the point is that though it may not be a border issue, uh, you know, incident related to border issue, but it is because of the border issue that the tension has been prevailing and small incidents become very big because of this tension that has been prevailing for the past 50 years. Uh, no, that is not true that non khasis are being assaulted. In general, there is an emotional uh, outburst uh, from certain groups and individuals and uh, there have been some pelting of stones in general uh, yes one or two uh, you know vehicles were damaged uh, but in general at large uh, the law and order is being maintained uh, there is uh, uh, complete maintenance even as we speak right now and we are trying to ensure that uh, nobody is hurt in this uh, entire incident and we have told all the organizations that uh, violence is not the way forward and as a government uh, uh, we understand the sentiments that are flowing. We understand that people are sad and upset with what has happened. But we want to tell everybody that violence is not the way forward in this. And as per uh, the government, uh, we will ensure that uh, you know the law and order is maintained and people are safe. And I want to tell all those people who are uh, trying to create violence is that uh, if you are trying to do violence and create violence, then uh, you're no different from the others who have been you know creating violence. So yes, it's a sad time. Yes, this is a very you know uh, uh, issue that is being. Uh, you know, unfortunate for us, but as I said, uh, the inquiry will be taken, will happen, and uh, government of India has promised us to give us a CBI inquiry, and therefore uh, we should wait for that, and we should then allow the agencies to work, and accordingly, the culprits will be punished.